many of you were at our product symposium just a couple years ago when we launched the five out of the bulldozer product. Uh, at that time, developed that product to have the most durable tooth form in the industry, solving a big issue for a lot of users, allowing that whole thought to cut through a lot more materials and go through those demanding applications. But like Brad said, materials on job sites change and just the overall environment where productivity is the name of the game. People want to work faster, so they'll chuck that hole saw up and go from material to material. And a lot of times with a hole saw, you go from an application that it's intended for, but then you go into another one where you're going to start to wear those teeth down very quickly. And so as we develop our carbide tooth technology, or carbide teeth, we understood that you could take that technology and put it on a hole saw as well. So this new, uh, new design in tooth form in our welding schedule and of the carbide itself, we're able to apply that to the bulldozer. So now we have bulldozer with carbide teeth. And so what that means on a job site is for a user, you can go from a nail embedded wood application to stainless steel and get incredible life through this demanding hard metal application. But you can also go into these abrasive materials where you can go through fiberglass, you can go through cement board, you can go through asphalt shingles, where before, those were wearing down the whole saw, sometimes on the very first cut. So to show you guys how that product is different, and for your readers, when they reach out to you and say, hey, I was cutting with a whole saw, and all of a sudden it just didn't cut anymore. Now you've talked about a solution that actually can allow them to go through all of these scenarios. So to show you the difference in performance, uh, I'm gonna cut through a few different applications that are very common for uh, a user to go through. So the first one's gonna be wood with hardened fasteners. And for uh, uh, the first cut, I'm gonna just use a bimetal hole saw, and for pretty much any brand, it's gonna be a similar result as this. So moving 
moving on to the other end of that material spectrum. So your wood, your metal, common things that a, a bimetal hole saw user would try to do on a daily basis. But now you have that plumber or that remodeler that's going to go through a more abrasive material. So here is this hardy backer or cement board. And a bimetal hole saw here, maybe many of you have tried it, but you're not going to have a, a very long day with it. So I'll take another brand new bimetal hole saw and we'll see how we do. Again, slow cut, really not going to go anywhere with it. And I'll take that same bulldozer with carbide teeth and make a cut. So I'm able to go through the material no problem. Again, now unleashing that potential of the bulldozer product, allowing a user to go through that huge range of material application without ever being hold, held back and be able to cut anything that they have come up on a job site. 